now let us discuss about scope rules in javascript uh, scope means where we can access that variable generally the scope is of type two types the first one is local scope second one is global scope first let's see what is local scope local scope means if the variable is declared inside a function then the corresponding variable is called as local variable we can use the local variable only inside a function in which it is declared so from outside the function it is not possible to access that variable whereas global variable means this variable is declared outside all the functions generally global variable is declared on top of all the functions we can make use of global variable throughout the program let the program contains 100 functions in all the 100 functions we can make use of that global variable so what is a scope scope specifies where we can access that variable the scope of a variable the scope of a local variable is local to the function in which it is declared whereas the scope of a global variable is global to the program now let us discuss about uh, scope rules with the help of an example program uh, here uh, in the body in the body tag uh, we have an event called onload event onload is equal to start function so this is nothing but function call okay so whenever the web page is loaded into the memory then onload event will get executed onload is equal to start start function call whenever a function is called then the control goes to the function definition here the script is defined inside the inside the uh, uh, yeah here the uh, here the script is defined inside the head tag uh, inside the head tag let us close this body tag let us define the script inside the head tag inside the head tag so head tag is open the script tag is closed and then close the script tag we know that we can write the script within the head tag or body tag okay so whenever the page is loaded into the memory then onload event will get executed so onload is equal to start function call so whenever a function is called then the control goes to the function definition so here we have a function definition function start function start here x is nothing but global variable why because here x is defined on top of all the functions here we have three functions function start function fun a and fun b so on top of all the three functions we have declared uh, this x so this x will becomes the global variable so first this uh, start function will execute it where x is equal to 5 so this is local variable we can make use of this variable only inside the start function only from outside the start function it is not possible to access this x so document dot write off h1 uh, here we are displaying the content within the header tag so that uh, the content will be displayed in larger font sizes and in bold type local variable x in start function is so what is the output here what is the value here 5 5 so we'll get output as 5 okay so first we will get output as 5 next fun a so this is fun a function call so whenever fun a function is called then the control goes to the function definition so fun a function definition where x is equal to 25 this is a local variable which belongs to fun a fun a so local variable x in fun a is what is the value here 25 next x plus plus now x will become 26 so local variable x in fun a after incrementation is now we will get 26 as the output so once the function definition is executed control goes to the calling function so what is the next function fun b so now the control goes to the fun b function call global variable x value is here no variable is declared so if no variable is declared then that global variable will be accessible what is the value of x here global variable 1 what is the value of x 1 so 1 1 so global variable x value is 1 will be printed next to global variable x value after multiplication 
Here, what is the statement? X star is equal to 10. So this can be written as X is equal to X into 10. So what is the previous value in X1? So 1 into 10 means 10. So after multiplication, 10 will be printed. Now let us see the what is the output. We will execute uh, these two function calls later. Fun A and Fun B later. Now let us see the program execution. Let us see the program execution. So if you see here, initially local variable x in start is 5. So that, that is nothing but start function value. Next in fun a, what is x value? 25. Next after incrementation, it is 26. Next to global variable x value is 1. Next to global variable x value after multiplication is 10. And this is one more value that is printed. Local variable x in start function is. Here we didn't place this statement within the uh, comments. So that's why this value got printed. So now let us execute uh, the next two, two function calls also. So whenever fun a is executed, then the control goes to the fun a function definition. Then once again, what will happen? 25 and 26 will be printed. So next fun b function call. Fun b function call. So now control goes to the fun b function call. But this x is global variable. So global variable means we can make use of that variable in entire program. Here whenever x is equal to 25 is declared, then once again uh, memory will be allocated for x. But here coming to this x, this x is global variable. So the previous value of x will be accessed. The previous value in x is 10. So 10 into 10 means 100. So first here 10 will be printed. Next x is equal to x into 10 means 100 will be printed. And after that control goes to the calling function. So local variable in x in start is local variable x in start is here in this function. What is local variable? 5. So 5 will be printed. So now let us run the program. Let us run the program. So if, if you see here local variable uh, local variable x in fun a local variable x in fun a is 25. After incrementation, the value is 26. Okay. After incrementation, the value is 26. It is just like the previous uh, uh, second line and third line output. Second line and third line output. And these two lines are same only. Why? Because that is nothing but local variable. Various coming to the x. This is global variable. So the previous value of x will be, x will be persisted. It will be retired. What is the previous value in x? 10. Next 10 into 10 means 100. Next x x in start function call what is x value 5 only so that value will be printed so this is about scope of a variable so mainly we have two types of scopes local scope and global scope local scope means local variable global scope means global variable